Martin Ch tried to put me in my first dress. When he had to go on his hiatus, he tell me, Kat, when I come back, I need you. You my young partner, you my brother in comedy. When I come back, just promise me that my next movie, it'll be me and you. We gonna do it together. We gonna do some buddy cop shit. You can never stay, you can't take the vertebrae out of your back just to fit inside of someone's ceiling. Mm -hmm. You have to stand up full and proud. I trusted CAA to look after me and they looked after themselves. I can't say that this was a racial issue, but um, I cannot imagine that white actors that are comparable to the numbers and the accolades and the world and recognition that I have. I can't imagine that CAA would allow them to be misused and treated in the way that they allowed Fox to misuse me. It seems like Cat Williams' viral club Shay Shay interview opened the floodgates. Following in the comedian's footsteps, actor Terrence Howard has stepped forward to reveal what really goes on behind the scenes. According to him, Hollywood has no place for actors who want to stick to their values. Do that and you risk your career. And that's exactly what happened to Howard. In his words, he refused to conform to the demands of the Hollywood elite, and in return, he was labeled as difficult to work with. But Terrence has had enough of the media taking control of his narrative. He's stepping out of the shadows and telling the world his version of events down to the reason for his retirement. Buckle up, because the drama is spilling like crazy as Terrence Howard joins hands with Cat Williams and disses Hollywood. No, no, that's not even close to what happened to this dude. And until you understand what happened to the dude, you don't understand what happened. Terrence Howard is a well-established name in the industry, with killer performances in titles like Crash and Prisoners. He carved out a path for himself, but by no means did opportunities fall into the actor's lap. Instead, he had to work his way to the top, all because of the obstacles put up by the Hollywood elite. According to Terrence, Hollywood allegedly asked young black actors to meet certain requirements before they give them the flashy paycheck, and if they fail to do so, they get kicked to the curb. And if you're wondering what Terrence did in situations where he was asked to compromise on his values, well, the actor ain't about money. He prefers standing his ground, and according to him, that's why he's been blacklisted from the industry. That's the stuff you've got to watch. See, that's why practice. you got to clear this stuff up. You've got to watch the stuff that they put out there, right. you know, because they're just trying to make money. Mm -hmm. Now, it's no secret that Hollywood is not what it seems like on the surface. For years, prominent names like Cat Williams and Dave Chappelle have pulled back the curtain of glamour to reveal a dark ritual where black actors are reportedly asked to wear a dress to make it big in the industry. Interestingly, Cat reignited the debate once again during his recent sit-down with Shannon Sharp. During his interview, the comedian recalled an incident when he promised to do a movie with Martin Lawrence just because Lawrence asked him to. But when Cat read the script, he walked out. Why? Because Martin was asking him to wear a dress, and there was no no way on earth that Cat was going to agree to that, even if it was his best friend asking him to do it. You know we get in that office and this fool pull out Big Mama's house too. I almost died. And I gotta read this script from all these good white people. Where this nigga want me to get in a dress with him. And I'm literally saying to everybody, why is he in a dress again? You already played the old lady as an FBI agent. We can play anything now. We can be playing a dog catcher this time. But here's where things get more interesting. According to Cat, he had to turn down $50 million contracts multiple times during his career, only because he valued his integrity instead of the money, just like Dave Chappelle. Now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times. Four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling yeah. you about. <laughs> right. According to the picture painted by Cat and Dave, Hollywood is reportedly obsessed with emasculating black men on the big screen for the sake of laughs, something that their white peers don't have to put up with. And it seems like Terrence Howard agrees with their words. During a recent interview with Revolt, the actor dropped some bombs saying, no, but I would like to know the ability of men to be men and people to be people. The man has been demonized. The strength in character and faults that come with a man are necessary for balance. With the new form Formula, most men are made to be effeminate and not have their power or sense of strength. They allow white men to be able to be strong, but when it's black men, it's seen as a threat. I don't want to remove a few chromosomes to fit in someone's story, so I feel they need to expand their stories to allow men to be men and simultaneously appreciate a woman's beauty. And here's where the plot thickens. Reportedly, Terrence has had enough of the industry's crazy standards and is calling it quits. In an interview with Entertainment Tonight, the actor said, this is the end for me, this is the end for me. Now, it isn't exactly the first time the actor has talked about 
retiring from the big screen. Back in 2019, Terrence made a lot of heads turn by announcing that he was walking away from acting for good. At the time, he said, I've been playing pretend for forever. There's no need to play pretend anymore. I've done my time. However, it seems like the actor is done for real this time. He allegedly sees no place for himself in an industry that's set on questioning his values. If you've done everything you can to avoid a circumstance or a situation, then apparently you are in that situation because there's something either you or the world is supposed to learn from it. That said, the streets are telling a different story. According to the rumors, Terrence's decision to leave Hollywood has nothing to do with the ridiculous demands of those in charge or his integrity for that matter. Instead, it's all because of the actor's alleged temper issues. While Howard has several accolades to his name, he's had his fair share of controversy as well. One look at his rap sheet and you'll be wondering how the guy even managed to make it to the big stage. One TV executive told The Post, it's an industry joke that he collects more assault raps than acting accolades. Meanwhile, other industry sources paint a more disturbing picture. While speaking to The Post, a former associate of Howard said, I don't think anger issues quite covers it. Terrence has to be in control of everything all the time. When he doesn't get his way, he loses it very easily. The source then went on to say, once Terrence found out that some of his scenes from a movie were being cut and he was furious, he marched up to the director and started arguing with him like it was some great injustice. And get this, Howard has reportedly been like this since the start of his career. Back in the day, the actor earned himself a role on the Bill Cosby show at the young age of 19, an opportunity of a lifetime for an actor who was only starting out in the industry. But Terrence ended up ruining it all. He found out that the directors were planning to cut some of his scenes, and he allegedly lost it. Speaking about the incident with the New York Times in 2001, Howard said, they cut me out of the show. I was angry. I banged on Cosby's dressing room door, and amazingly, he answered. I told him, I'm a man just like you. He didn't like it, and the casting agent never took my calls again. That's the mold for the rest of my professional life. I say peace with it, and I suffer the consequences. To be fair, Howard dug that hole himself. What's really interesting is that Terrence has joked about being the bad guy as well a couple of times. Back in 2015, Terrence landed the role of Lucius Lyon on the Fox TV series, Empire. You could say it was a match made in heaven because Lyon was as nasty as they come. Between cheating on his fiance and hiding crucial information to sabotage his company's IPO, no one understood Lyon better than Howard. In fact, during an interview with Rolling Stone, the actor said, since they see me as a bad guy, I'm gonna play a bad guy. However, Terrence might have taken the role of the bad guy a bit too seriously. His temper issues allegedly became the reason for his two divorces as well. The actor was married to Lori McComas from 1989 to 2003. They eventually found their way back to each other in 2005, only to go their separate ways once again in 2007. And it was only because Terrence couldn't control his hands or his emotions. He eventually went on to marry Michelle Gint in 2010, but the man hadn't learned his lessons. And you want to set the record straight about some things in the news about your ex-wife talking about you and, and um, accusations of beating and stuff. And, and there's two sides to every story. You know, it's heartbreaking because you know, there's a story about someone that picked up a viper that was frozen and they put it close to their chest so it can warm up. And the moment that it became warm, it bit them. And so his second marriage also ended with a divorce and a restraining order. Oh, and it doesn't stop there. When it comes to treating staff members, Terrence has got some major problems. Back in 2000, the actor allegedly threw hands with a Continental Airlines flight attendant. Why, you ask? Because she told him to return to his seat during the flight. Of course, Howard had to pay for acting out by spending the night in jail, but he eventually got out since the charges were dropped. You'd think that the man would reflect on his behavior, but no. He addressed the issue during an appearance on The Oprah Winfrey Show in 2005 and denied the entire thing. Terrence might want to watch his words because that same year, he was arrested for attacking two strangers at a Philadelphia restaurant for allegedly cutting the line. That said, some fans sympathize with Howard, saying that his anger issues stem from a tragic childhood. Back in 1971, Terrence's father, Tyrone, like most parents, took him and his siblings to meet Santa Claus at the local department store. However, what was supposed to be a happy memory turned out to be a horrific incident that scarred Howard for life. At the mall, the actor's dad ended up in a fight with a man over cutting the line. The situation escalated before anyone knew it, and it ultimately ended with a man dead and Tyrone in handcuffs. Mind you, Terrence was only two years old when he witnessed the gruesome scene, so obviously he has some unresolved issues that he needs to work on. Regardless of his tragic backstory, Hollywood does not tolerate this kind of behavior. Marvel sure didn't. If you've watched all the Marvel movies, you'll remember that Don Cheadle did not always play War Machine. Instead, 
said, that role belonged to Terrence Howard in the first Iron Man movie, and surprisingly, he did a good job of breathing life into a comic book favorite. However, it seemed like the folks at Marvel weren't impressed with Howard, because despite promising to wear the suit in the next one, Don Cheadle was rocking the screen as James Rhodey in Iron Man 2 instead of Terrence. So what went wrong? Well, depending on who you ask, you'll get different answers. According to Terrence, he was lowballed. Following the first movie, Robert Downey Jr. got a jaw-dropping raise, with a paycheck of $10 million for Iron Man 2. Meanwhile, Terrence was being offered pennies, a disappointing $40,000 for his efforts. Of course, that didn't sit right with Terrence, and he butted heads with the execs at Marvel. Unfortunately for him, they couldn't be swayed that easily, providing Don Cheadle with the opportunity to take on the role. Following the incident, Terrence went on to badmouth Marvel any chance he could. You know what's so funny? Even though I love Don Cheadle so much and I love what he's done, I still hear a lot of fans asking, am I going to come back and be War Machine? Yeah, am I going to come back and be War Machine? I think they could have um, a, a huge franchise off of it. But during an interview with Bravo's Andy Cohen, the actor said, It turns out that the person I helped become Iron Man, when it was time to re-up for the second one, he took the money that was supposed to go to me. Now that's Howard's version. According to industry insiders, Terrence was replaced for entirely different reasons. The actor was allegedly difficult to work with on set, owing to his temper issues. To add to his troubles, the directors weren't fans of his acting either. One source spilled the tea, saying, On a big-budget movie like that, they don't have time for drama and inflated egos. Terrence is, without question, a very talented actor but he is very opinionated and can upset people. As he found out in Hollywood, everyone is replaceable. Word on the street is that the directors had to spend a considerable chunk of time reshooting Howard's scenes and cutting them down in the editing room. So when it was time for Iron Man 2, the execs at Marvel saw an opportunity to get rid of the problem altogether. Back then, Marvel was only in Phase 1, so it was easy to swap out Terrence with Don. That said, it's not just Marvel. From the looks of things, Howard's talent agency, Creative Artist Agency LLC, might have had a problem with the actor as well. Earlier in December 2023, the actor made headlines by filing a lawsuit against the company, claiming that they fraudulently convinced him to take less money than what he deserved for his role in Empire. Mr. Howard, an Academy Award nominated actor for Best Actor, is here today to ask for justice. The lawsuit states, despite this feeling of trust, it would be years later that Howard would discover that CAA placed their own financial interests, as well as the interests of the production companies they also represented, ahead of his own. Howard's attorney, James Bryant, who works for the Cochrane Law Firm, also spoke on the actor's behalf, saying, Mr. Howard will be filing a lawsuit based upon the duties his agents that were simply failed time and time again. This is a man who was the lead actor to, once again, one of the most successful television shows in network history, where Fox was making over $125 million a year in just ad revenue alone. This man was being underpaid time and time again. To make things even more interesting, Terrence thinks that the issue might have something to do with his race, claiming that had it been a white actor, we wouldn't be even talking about the situation. And he might just be right. Upon its debut, the Fox TV series garnered 10 million views, making Empire an instant success. And as the lead actor, Terrence played a crucial part in the hit series. He started off with a $125,000 paycheck. And as the show gained popularity, Howard expected to be compensated for his efforts, and he was, at least partially. The actor's salary was bumped to $325,000 per episode later on. However, according to Howard, that was nowhere near enough. Jim Parsons was earning $1 million per episode during the peak of his show, The Big Bang Theory, so fans can understand where he's coming from. Between being labeled as an alleged hothead and not being paid fairly, it makes sense why Howard is retiring from Hollywood and seeking to do something else with his life. You're done because of, of the acting. You feel like it's your protection and you don't want to pretend anymore? No, as human beings, we have the greatest brain potential out of all the creatures yes, on this know. planet. Now, if we all utilize that strength towards solving the world's problems, then what could we accomplish? Interestingly, his story is a little too familiar. Remember Terrence's claims that Hollywood only kicked him out because he refused to bow down before them? Yeah, well, back in 2009, Monique had something similar happen to her. She had the chance to work with Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry on their movie, Precious. Surprisingly, the film did well with audiences, and the upper management decided that they wanted to make the most of it. So they asked Monique to go on a press tour. The only catch was she wouldn't be compensated for her work in time. 
time. Now, paid press tours are a standard in the industry, and Monique was no small-time actress. So when director Lee Daniels and producers Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry asked her to promote Precious at the Cannes Film Festival without a paycheck in return, the actress put her foot down. Speaking about the incident with The Hollywood Reporter, Monique spilled exactly what she said to the top brass. I said, Oprah, I'm doing a talk show. I'm doing a comedy tour. I have a husband and I have babies. I have a little bit of downtime and I'm going to take advantage of it. So I'm not going anywhere because I'm not obligated to go anywhere. I've done my part. So we mutually agreed to disagree. That was it. Monique thought she had handled the issue. However, she'd soon discover the price of saying no to the Hollywood elite. Monique's reputation was in shambles. Suddenly, directors didn't want to work with her and she found herself blacklisted from the industry. A little bit of brainstorming and the actress realized who was behind the rumors. It was Lee Daniels, Oprah Winfrey, and Tyler Perry. Now, I said no to some very powerful people. I said no to Oprah Winfrey. I said no to Tyler Perry. I said no to Lee Daniels. And I said no to Lionsgate. And the difficulty came in when people that look like me, like Oprah, Tyler, Lee Daniels, and I gotta put my brother Steve on the list. Y'all knew I was not wrong. Each one of you said to me, Monique, you're not wrong. Of course, Monique was mad about the situation. She was being punished for saying no. So when she won an Academy Award months later, the actress made sure to not thank Lee Daniels during her acceptance speech. Although Monique has since then made peace with Daniels, working with him on his Netflix film, The Deliverance, she's still on bad terms with Winfrey and Perry. Allegedly, the two haven't made any efforts to make peace with Monique, despite her publicly asking for an apology. And so years after the incident, Monique still feels resentment towards the producers. During her interview with The Hollywood Reporter, the comedian revealed, I felt the same injustices and inequalities that all the black women who came to Hollywood before me felt. Oftentimes, people call that anger. They call it bitterness. They call it unstable. They give it all these titles except what it really is. Yet, despite being blacklisted, the actress doesn't regret her decision one bit even today. But let me tell you what the game is before the money game. Like this. Before the money game, it's called the integrity game. So from Monique being slandered for saying no to Terrence Howard calling it quits, this is the true face of Hollywood. However, the jury's still out in Howard's case. Is the Hollywood elite really Really to blame for his retirement, or is it a grave that Terrence dug for himself owing to his deep-rooted issues? No one can say for sure. However, one thing is certain. Cat Williams paved the way for those who have experienced Hollywood's injustices to share their truths, and as time passes by, it's highly likely that more industry sources will step forward. So, keep your ears to the ground and your eyes peeled for the latest drama in the industry. We'll be here with all the updates. Until then, keep it Rizzle.